Hey guys, it's Chris again, farting around with the Dagon X Serve Raid. Hey, I figured a couple things out on these IDE to SATA converters. Check this out. So, I have one prepped, ready to go in. It's been in and out a couple times. Um, first off, here is a regular tray, right? Now, a couple things I've learned with doing this, because I sparked out and the power supply started stinking. I had to kill it off the UPS and just yank it real quick because it was shortened out. Why? Because I forgot to insulate. So I just used some electrical tape. I know there's fan holes in here and all that stuff. So I left a couple of them open. Good enough. Um, they are still in the front. It does suck from the front too. There is a vent in here. Um, it does have an air gap. So you do get some air from the front to the back. And you know, underneath this slot, you can still get air through. These are for cross across the board, some ugly face there, but uh, it's good. These two and a half don't generate much heat. So, as an example, with this tray, I wanted to show you something. When you insert these into the uh, the, the Xserve RAID, this, this daggone SATA converter is like, you know, very tall. So, what happens is this. When you, ouch! Dang it, always hit my foot on that chair. All right, let me turn the light on here. Okay, so when you insert these caddies, watch what happens. Let me get the light on this side. When you insert this, number one, you're squishing down this power cable, or IDE cable, and it fits, but what happens is, once it gets back to here, check this out, see that? The wires on top. Well, if I shove this in here, once this gets up, it's going to pinch and scratch these wires along these air holes all the way down the back till it hits the connector. And that sucks, and that's what shorted me out. So what I did was this. On the tray that's in there now, it's got the one terabyte drive in it, right? It's HGST Travel Star. I did a review on it. This one right here. Did a review on it uh, with the other video before this one. But, I'm going to do this to this one. And uh, these things pop out. You just unplug it, right? You can work on this a lot easier out of the tray. And it's simple. You don't need any tools except a pair of scissors and a flathead screwdriver or whatever. So, you can take a flathead screwdriver and this top clip white thing pops off right now I don't know how I'm gonna do this holding it but I'm gonna try I'm holding the stupid phone again so <sighs> alright there we go okay so this pops off right I'm just set this aside now note where the wires come out you can see they just stick in these two metal Clips. If I can get this stupid thing to focus. I switched to my old Android phone. But anyway, for the camera. Okay, you see the metal thing on the yellow wire there to the left, right here. So it just pinches in. So one at a time, take a wire off, just pull it. Ugh. Hold on, let me yank a wire off. Yeah, okay. So I pulled a wire off. Now you know that come note. It comes out of this side, right? All I'm doing is flipping this over and putting the wire back in. Why? So the wires on the downside on all of these. Let me do the red one real quick. Let me pull. Okay, sorry about that. So here's one just flipped. I just did it quick and dirty. I just flipped this one over and pushed it back in there. I mean, pulled down this wire yet, but it'll pull it into the carrier. So anyway, by flipping these over. And I guess you could twist it, but it's really it's really tight in there. You know what? I never even freaking tried that. Well, no, you can't twist it because the connector will be upside down. You have to, you you can't just twist it because the way the IDE to SATA hard drive adapters are, the uh, power cord, as you can see, only goes one way in the Molex. So when this thing is in the tray backwards like this, this would be looking at the rear where the IDE cable connect the SATAs are on the other side so if this was the Apple connector 
Now you get the picture here when I hold this up. So you can see the red wire is actually coming from the bottom. There's a little tip on it hanging off, but it's not much. I can, it was just for example, I'll trim it up. But by doing this and popping the plastic cover back on, you're going to save your butt in scratching this wire, which could lead to like short circuiting, burning this board out, burning your XR rate out, frying a hard drive, catching it on fire, grounding out your power supply. Who knows? It's just better to be safe than sorry. And after I put my third drive in, that happened to me and I pulled it out. It's really tight. I even took a file to one of these and uh that's in there now is it yeah uh, i think so uh, i've been working on so many of these um just trying to get some tidbits for so i took a little bit off of each corner because where it sits now i had one sitting up closer and it was uh sitting on this metal thing right here um, and you'll see it on this side, it sits on it. Well, it was raising it up a little bit. So I took a file and filed the corner. You can see the circuit line, so I was okay. Filed this corner just to help it get in. And, uh, it didn't really help at all. The main thing that helped was the power lines. Getting these suckers moved is my priority now. Let me see if I got the one that bent. Yeah, I do. It's right here. So you can see this one actually was the one that started getting hot and it actually right here this yellow one started bubbling out. On the other side you can see I don't know this camera just sucks horribly I apologize. Piece of crap Android. There it is look at that rip. You can see it real quick as the camera attempts to focus. It's stupid. Come on. Right there, you can see that yellow. I apologize for this crappy phone. Where's the camera even at? Let's see. Nah, it doesn't even focus because it sucks. Damn, piece of junk phone. Alright, but anyway, the yellow wire and uh, I think even the black wire had a bulge in it. You can see a little bit on the reflection. You invest in a real camera. There you go. Look, it finally focuses when I'm pulled away. You see, I bubbled out. So, uh, yeah, that ain't good. So, move these suckers to the other side. It takes like five minutes. It'll save your butt. Thanks for watching.